Let's move on now. For the first time in decades, reports say that a U.S. soldier has been detained by North Korea. The soldier crossed a heavily fortified border from South Korea without permission. The U.S. military says that he willfully crossed into North Korea. This comes as Pyongyang ramps up its ballistic missile tests. So why did the soldier cross into the most isolated nation? Will this cause a diplomatic headache for the United States? Let's get into the details now. The man in question is private second class Travis King. Although there's no word from North Korea as of now, reports say that King defected and is in custody of North Korea. The US says that they haven't been able to contact the soldier. So what do we know till now? The US military says that King made a run across the border without authorization. Seoul officials say he passed through airport security and immediately got on a civilian tour of the border. The soldier soon went out of tracking contact after he crossed the border. The afternoon of July 18th, local time, a U.S. soldier on a private JSA orientation tour crossed willfully and without authorization the military de demarcation line into the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And we believe the soldier is currently in DPRK custody and are working with our North Korean counterparts to resolve this incident. So who is Private Travis King? The Pentagon says that King is a cavalry scout who joined the military in 2021. The 23-year-old was part of the Army's 1st Armored Division and also served with the U.S. military in South Korea. But he wasn't the ideal U.S. soldier. Seoul officials say that he faced disciplinary action for assault and spent two months in jail. Reports say he was fined for repeatedly kicking the back door of a police vehicle. He also shouted foul language at the officers who apprehended him. Where the U.S. soldier is now is much worse than two months in jail. King is in the hands of a nation that regards the United States as its mortal enemy. But how could North Korea benefit from detaining King? Let us remind you, King is not a high military ranking officer. He wouldn't have access to top classified information. But experts say that King may spill out information like base layouts or the number of U.S. troops in specific areas. The 23-year-old could be a potentially powerful bargaining chip. Let's tell you what North Korea can do to a U.S. soldier. In 1965, U.S. soldier Charles Jenkins crossed over to North Korea. He claimed to have regretted the move. Listen in. Defected U.S. soldiers can't walk around Pyongyang, nor go to stores on their own. They could only move through vehicles provided by North Korea, under surveillance. So they spend their whole lives with their freedom suppressed, in a very closed area, until they died. So what happened while in detention? He was forced to appear in propaganda films. The soldier taught North Korean spies how to read and speak English. Jenkins was forced to study the writings of North Korean leaders eight hours a day. After a deal was struck between Pyongyang and Tokyo in 2004, he was allowed to leave North Korea. U.S.-North Korea relations plummeted further when a student was detained in 2017. North Korea sentenced him to 15 years of hard labor. Why? It's because he stole a propaganda sign from a hotel. As after King's detention, North Korea launched two suspected ballistic missiles into the nearby sea. This shouldn't come as a surprise. Since 2019, Kim Jong-un has tested dozens of missiles to raise tensions. We are talking about missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Will the U.S. soldier be detained for several years like others? Will the U.S. strike a deal with North Korea? We will keep watch as this story unfolds. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.